Hey friends, it's me. I have a video review for you um, of a new doll line by Play Hut called Mystics. It's Mystics Vampires. Play Hut is known for making pretty much what their name sounds like, child-sized Play Huts. And this, I believe, is their first foray into the doll market. Uh, so I was super excited about being able to see one of these and getting a review out to you guys. Um, so, let me introduce you to Siva. She is one of four Mystics Vampires. Mystics are an interesting transformable doll line um, and I'm going to show you how they transform. Unlike a create a monster which I know they'll be compared to repeatedly and I myself am going to compare them to create a monster a lot because I don't see how else to describe them. Um, these dolls as opposed to taking off their heads uh, to change their look you literally you take off the wig because it's a wig and you change their face around and so now you'll see she literally has two faces um, one which is slightly you know nice friendly normal uh, and then one that is vampire like um, it has fangs it has uh, it just darker makeup but it's just something that looks slightly more gothic each mystic comes essentially with enough accessories to make two dolls You'll only have one doll, but you can make her into completely different characters. So, we have Siva with her purple wig, her purple outfit. Um, it, they're all separate, so it's separate top, separate bottom, separate leggings. And then we have Siva. Um, she can also be dressed in a different outfit. Her wig quality is really nice. I think of everything um, about her, I think her wig quality is... Uh, the best thing because her wig has enough hair to cover the extra head that's being you know covered up behind here the bangs are spot on which I think most of the companies that make wig dolls have issues with downside is you can only use this wig pretty much on this doll it doesn't work with the creative monster for sure I'm not positive on how it would work on a live doll but if you have a live doll and you have a mystic doll then let me know her body leaves a little to be desired here um, her arms go up and they go down. They could go all the way around if you really wanted them to, but they do not go up and out. Um, they do not have joints at the elbows. They do not have joints at the uh, uh, at the wrist. It's kind of made. They're kind of made with like this weird material. It's a very pliable arm. It's not stretchy because it doesn't hold a pose. It just kind of jets back to where it started. Her legs go up and they go back. They do not bend here because she is not jointed at the knee. She is not jointed at the ankles. Um, they do not go left and right. Her actual body type is very similar to a Monster High doll. Her head, I should mention, does not tilt side to side. It only goes left to right. This is an interesting doll. Uh, I know I have some negative points about, you know, how she turned out, but there are also some positives. Uh, the positives being that I like the wig. I think that... Uh, Play Hut put a lot of time into trying to make a wig that worked on a doll. And I think they have a good concept here. She would be a nice addition to a Monster High collection too because she's just slightly taller than Monster High dolls. Um, if you want to compare her to a Create a Monster, you'll see she's just a little taller. Her face is a little larger, but overall, um, if you ignore the fact that she's not as jointed as a Create a Monster doll or a Monster High doll in general, She'd make a nice friend for them. Um, uh, the negatives, you know, I just wish she had more mobility in her limbs. I wish she had elbow or knee joints. I wish her head kind of tilted left and right. Uh, and I think they need to work on the quality of the outfits just a twinge. Because right now, like, this one's okay, but the other outfit, uh, you know, there's strings hanging off it and things like that. So please leave your comments below on what you think of this Mystic doll line. Um, it, you know, if you spot one, let us all know so we can get the word out that they're on store shelves. Check out all the links below, and I'll see you later. Bye!